Greetings fellow travelers. Today I want to remind you that you're one of one. Now think about that. There's never been you before, there'll never be you after. So live your life accordingly. Maneuver along your journey accordingly. Don't worry about rules from anybody. Don't worry about standards from anybody. Only worry about your own rules, your own standards, the way that you maneuver along your journey. Here's why I say this. If you talk to somebody in a specific field, they're going to tell you what right or wrong looks like on their journey. And they will attempt to uphold you to those standards. That has nothing to do with you. Nothing. You maneuver on. You thank them if they're well wishes, but if they're not, don't worry about it. Maneuver on. I bring this up because this week I've had a few incidences where, particularly two to come to mind, where these individuals have, for lack of better terms, subliminally said things or done things the last time we interacted. And in doing so, we haven't seen each other in a while cool I ain't tripped kept living my life going about my journey so when I eventually ended up encountering both of these two individuals two different times two different situations it was amazing how relieved they were to be able to not only interact with me but have an honest moment of telling me what they're going through in life and I know for some of you y'all are used to that y'all are used to people like confiding you for whatever reason and I don't know why these things came up. They simply did, but I'm used to it. What I took note of, though, was the last time we interacted, the way these people treated me, it wasn't personal. There's something going on with them. So then this time I talked to them, both of them, confided what they've been going through, the struggles they've been dealing with. Cool. That's why I gave the forgiveness before. Cool. I know it's something that ain't me keep it moving i'm not saying i'm perfect but i know i didn't do anything to deserve the treatment that i was getting so i fell back for them to come back around not acknowledge that they treated me a certain way but to explain themselves cool what i do throw it in their face no we human i did we're spirits in the human vessel let me say that so i get it i get it I just won't go and sub allow myself to subject my own person to this kind of treatment. Nah, I'm better than that. And I know they better than that. They didn't mean nothing by it, but they were letting off some kind of steam. And they thought that I was going to be the one who was just going to eat all that up. No, nah, I took it and kept it moving. See that, that whole vengeful spirit? Nah, man. It don't work. So when people bring that to you, it ain't even about throwing it back on them. No, you chill. Because you understand that you're operating from a different procedure. You're operating from a different source. You are operating with a different intention. So you allow them sometimes to get their things off. It's cool because you ain't even got to brush it off. You're just going to go in the kitchen, whip it up into something different, and they understand that you ain't even got to serve them the, the trash they gave you. Nah, you turn that into a blessing. You turn that into a wake-up caller. Oh, okay. That's how they are when they're going through this and that. They'll treat me like this, and I didn't do anything to deserve that. Got it? Keep it moving. It's fine. Don't trip on it. But remind yourself that you don't live to their standards. Meaning, just because they think it's okay to dump things on you, you don't have to take on that same understanding and say, you know what, it is okay. Nah, it's not. But it's not your job to train them differently. No, they got to take care of that. They self, they got to be accountable for themselves. For you, you take it for what it is. You don't have to consume it. Take the food as it is on the plate. Put it to the side. Do what you will with it. But you don't have to consume that. Nah, let them have that. Because what you'll realize is that's a part of a power dynamic that people feed on. They want to be able to sun you or put you down. So they feel up. Nah. 
if you're going through trials and tribulations like that, sometimes you do just got to fall back. Sometimes you do just got to hey, deal with that on your own to really process what's going on. And then move about when you understand that, okay, this is what I can do with it. But let me do something with it before I take this out into the world and treat another individual worse. Some think about it. I'm sharing this, y'all, just to remind you that the world is going to be the world. We can be in the world. We don't have to be of the world. Just because this person, that person, that person is doing it don't mean it's okay. Nah. Be your own thinker. Be your own person. Move forward with your own light because that's what all of us are here to do. But when somebody wants to come and put darkness or block your light, it ain't your job to fight them so they understand. Nah. You move with the knowing that you got this. You move with the knowing of, you know what? They showed me that they're not willing to appreciate me and I'm going to move accordingly. It's absolutely fine. That's what forgiveness looks like at times. Cool, I see what it is, but it don't gel with what I am. Cool, and then you move about. But don't let them stall you out or don't let them make you believe that you are wrong or incorrect or you're messed up or you're not good enough, no. Do not let them do that. Because you are unapologetically forgiven by God. It's the only, that's it. Only thing you need to know. And then each choice you make, that's on you. It's going to come to fruition. God going to make sure of that. So make sure you're keeping your mind right. Make sure you're keeping your energy right. Make sure you're protecting your energy and not allow other people to throw their problems, woes, souvenirs, baggage. Don't let them throw that on you. No, you got your own path to worry about. Stay on that. Protect your peace of mind at all times. You'll never regret it. With that said, I'm going to leave it at that. Be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.